beautiful morning. It's truly a pleasure to welcome my colleague, the President of Botswana, on his state visit to Malta, together with his, with his ministers and also his delegation. I would like to take this opportunity to thank President Kama for his constructive and insightful contributions during our deliberations. During our meetings, I reassured President Kama that Malta is looking forward to strengthening its relations with the Republic of Botswana across a variety of sectors, with the possibility of exploring new ventures of mutual cooperation to the benefit of the Maltese people and the people of Botswana. This state visit represents an excellent opportunity to further enhance the excellent bilateral relations that already exist between our countries. I spoke of Malta's eagerness to explore opportunities by which bilateral trade with Botswana may be further diversified and promoted, particularly in light of the innovative stimulus plan which was announced by the authorities of Botswana. A plan which is mainly thought out to boost the economy through projects in agriculture production and the construction industry in manufacturing and in the tourism development. I proudly explained to my dear colleague, the President of the Republic of Botswana, that Malta has plenty of expertise to offer in these sectors and especially in the sectors of tourism, hospitality and travel. Moreover, Malta welcomes the signing of the double taxation agreement, which is the first agreement to be signed between Malta and Botswana following the establishment of diplomatic relations between our nations in 2005. The double taxation agreement is an important development in our bilateral relations and will lead to a healthy boost in economic cooperation and further connections between the business communities of both our nations. We also spoke about the phenomenon of migration, which is an issue of shared concern to both European and African nations. We spoke of the need for the European Union to continue to do more to promote strategies for sustainable investment in countries of origin, as well as dignified routes for legal migration in countries of transit and respectful programs of inclusion in countries of destination. Cooperation is the key, and on behalf of the Maltese authorities and the Maltese people, I commend Botswana for its efforts to address irregular migration, particularly human trafficking, and the smuggling of migrants, even more following the adoption of the Anti-Human Trafficking Act in 2014 by the Botswana Parliament and the establishment of the Anti-Human Trafficking Committee in January 2016. I must reiterate once again, dear colleague, President Kama, that Malta counts on Botswana's support to ensure that the Global Compact on Refugees and Migrants, which shall be agreed in 2018 reflect our common concerns and aspirations for the future of migration within and across our regions. Furthermore, I spoke of Malta's full commitment towards the achievement of long-term sustainable development in, the, in line with the United Nations Agenda 2030 and its 17 sustainable development goals. Malta firmly believes that it is important to participate in the efforts being made by the international community in the field of development assistance. Our primary objective must be to achieve sustainable development goal number one, namely the eradication of poverty, while also promoting good governance, respect for the rule of law, and the upholding of universal human rights and fundamental freedoms. We believe that to achieve these mutual aspirations for social justice and global peace, Malta looks forward to continuing the cooperation with Botswana, not only bilaterally, but also within the Commonwealth of Nations. Through our mutual membership within the Commonwealth, we share a powerful heritage of common values, which include a focus on processes of democratic participation, the active involvement of civil society, and the pursuit of holistic well-being in the lives of all our citizens. On concluding, let me state once again that Malta welcomes the positive and constructive relationship that is flourishing between Botswana and the European Union. We also look forward to more cooperation between our nations to enhance peace, security, and prosperity in all our regions. 
For this reason, we welcome the emphasis being placed on youth and employment at the upcoming EU-African Union Summit, which is a theme of particular relevance also to Botswana. In this regard, I would like to stress that Malta is appreciative of the efforts being taken by the authorities of Botswana over the past years to improve the well-being of young people in their country. Finally, I would like to add that when our countries focus on the well-being of our children and young people, we will be including an essential component in all our strategies for the sustainable development of our countries, but also our world. Thank you. And now I would like to invite His Excellency President Kama for his contribution. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President. Uh, Madam, you have um, very comprehensively and accurately uh, summarized exactly the issues that we discussed. So I do not intend to repeat um, for the benefit of the media here what you've just said, but to endorse everything that you have said. So I shall just confine myself to the fact that I would like to start off by thanking you, Your Excellency, and your government most sincerely for the invitation um, to visit Malta. I have been here twice before um, with the attending Commonwealth summits. And um, when the invitation came, I was extremely delighted to have received the invitation to give us the opportunity to explore the areas that you have elo eloquently outlined today on how we will go forward in developing relations between our two countries. I would also like to inform you that I've taken the opportunity to invite Her Excellency to come and pay a visit um, to Botswana um, at her convenience, because we would certainly like to reciprocate um, the tremendous hospitality that we have received since uh, we got here, and to also pursue and continue along the line of exploring areas that our two countries can cooperate on. So with those few words, Your Excellency, let me thank you most sincerely once again. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Presidents, how important are the bilateral relations um, between Botswana and uh, Malta? How do you also see the um, signing of the um, double tax agreement later on this afternoon? Well, definitely, it is very, very important to develop our excellent diplomatic relations into now tangible economic cooperation too. Governments are enablers. So what is going to happen during the state visit, one could say, is opening the door for our business communities to have the opportunity to explore and exploit the, the possibilities that both our countries can give to one another. Definitely, the double taxation agreement is one, one way of opening this door for our businesses, for our business communities, for our peoples to connect and share and explore possibilities of mutual benefit. Globalization dictates that countries such as ours, no matter how far we are apart, uh, come together and explore all the areas that we have outlined for the benefits of our, for the welfare of our people. So am I coming all the way from Southern Africa and meeting, um, uh, coming here to Malta, which is a member of the European Union, I think is a case in point of that globalization and its agenda. So as I said before, I'm very optimistic that we will find a lot. We, do ex we have a tremendous amount in common, despite the fact that we are so far apart. And um, as I said, my being here, we will certainly explore all those. 